Let's make a warming, nourishing soup today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel. Hey, my hope is that every week when we get together in the kitchen and make recipes, it helps keep you inspired and helps keep you and your loved ones healthy. Today, we're going to be making a roasted garlic cauliflower soup. Begin by breaking up one large or two small cauliflower heads into florets. This is roughly eight to 10 cups, but don't be too concerned with the measurements because you can always adjust the thickness of your soup later on. Place your cauliflower into a large mixing bowl. Next, let's add one medium sized onion chopped up or one large leek chopped up. It's going to be about two cups worth, but again, don't be too concerned with the measurement here. It's going to turn out, I promise you. Next, let's add in whole cloves from one garlic bulb, which is anywhere from 10 to 15 cloves. Now, if you're not a really big fan of garlic, no big deal, just half this amount. And garlic is such an all-star ingredient right now when the weather is starting to get colder just to help support your immune system. Add in three tablespoons of either heart-healthy olive or avocado oil and stir to coat. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper or brush it with some olive or avocado oil. Spread out your cauliflower, onion, and garlic and then sprinkle with one quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Roast in a 400 degree preheated oven for 30 to 40 minutes, stirring halfway through. You want your cauliflower to be brown on the edges. Transfer your roasted veggies into a large pot. Add in four cups of either vegetable or chicken broth being sure that you use one that doesn't contain added sugar. Add in one tablespoon of curry powder that's a wonderful warming, anti-inflammatory mixture of spices. One quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper that supports healthy circulation. Bring to a boil and then turn down the heat, bringing your soup to a simmer. Simmer for 10 to 15 minutes until your cauliflower is super soft. If need be, you can always add in a little bit of filtered water to cover the cauliflower while it simmers. Now we're ready to blend up the soup. You can either use an immersion blender or just a regular blender like I'm going to. So if you're using your blender, then you definitely want to do this in batches because it's definitely not going to all fit. And you might want to let the soup cool down just a little bit. Your cauliflower should be super soft. If you're finding that your soup is too thick to blend up, then just add in some of your full fat coconut milk to each of the batches. Okay, we're ready to give this roasted cauliflower soup a taste. Now don't forget to add in some of your fresh lemon juice on top right when you're ready to serve. So warming. I love the heat from the cayenne pepper. The lemon juice, man, you cannot forget that ingredient because it just gives it such a lift and taste. It's delicious. Um, I love the curry powder, the garlic. It all goes together so beautifully. And if you wanted to add in a little bit of crunch, just add in some toasted sunflower seeds or sliced almonds on top. Um, and always get really creative with your recipes. You can add in more roasted vegetables if you like. So if your soup is not as thick as you'd like it to be, just let it simmer a little bit longer over the stove. And or if your soup is too thick, you can always just add in a little bit of filtered water or more broth until it's just the way you like it. If you enjoyed this recipe and would like to receive more just like it every week, be sure to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.